everyone, this is Teacher JB, and today we are going to learn about our school. The name of our school is Centro Escolar Integrated School, or CEIS. CEIS is located in Malolos, while Centro Escolar Las Piñas, or CELP, is located in Las Piñas. Both CIS and CELP is under the Centro Escolar University. If you are in Malolos, your school is the Centro Escolar Integrated School, or CEIS. But if you are in Las Piñas, the name of your school is Centro Escolar Las Piñas. This is what our school looks like. Now, let's have a short tour in our school. That building is the Senior High School building. We have their different plans and also we have pathways for our students to enter our school. That is our basic education building. That is where the pre-kindergarten and the preschool department is located. As you can see, we have there a big school grounds for the cars of the parents to enter. There, if you can see there, the blue and the yellow door at the far uh, left corner, that is our pre-kindergarten classroom. After the tour, now let's learn about our school logo. This is the school logo of the Centro Escolar Integrated School. Now, are you ready to enter our pre-kindergarten classroom? In our classroom, there are different areas that helps the student in their learning. We have there the play area, the art area, the reading area, and the discovery area. Now let's learn about the different areas of the creative curriculum in the pre on the preschool department. This is the pre-kinder classroom. Okay, we have there our own bathroom that we can use. And we also have a big space for the kids to roam around. Let's learn first the discovery area. So discovery area is a place where children explore and investigate to answer their questions. They observe, experiment, measure, solve problems, take things apart, and handle materials and living things we put out. They predict what will happen as a result of their action. So it's like a place to experiment in the discovery area. The students are allowed to use the different materials in there and experience it on their own to know the, question, the answers to their questions. Next is the reading area. Reading area are a wonderful way to help develop literacy and language skills for early learners. Designing an area within a classroom that focuses on listening, reading, and writing will give children an opportunity to explore and learn through hands-on participation. In the reading area, there are available storybooks that the, the children can read whenever they want. We also have their pillows, but a sleeping is strictly not allowed in the reading area. Next is the art area. Art activities help children develop in many areas. Art can help children to, one, express feelings through manipulation of materials like clay, finger paint, and etc. express creativity and individuality. So in the art area, art uh, materials are available. We have their paints, uh, brushes, we have crayons, we have fan papers, color papers, we have glue, that the children can use whenever they want. 
And next one is the play area. The play area is everyone's favorite. So play gives children the opportunity to develop physical competence and enjoyment of outdoors, understand and make sense of their world, interact with other children, express and control emotion, develop their symbolic and problem-solving abilities, and practice emergent skill. In the play area, the social-emotional uh, aspect of the child is being developed. There are available toys for the students there that they can use during choice time. But uh, sharing of toys is a must. If ever the children are fighting over a toy, their uh, playtime will be over. Okay, we are developing their responsibility and uh, the value of sharing to other people. Now let's take a closer look and another look of our classroom. That is the front of our classroom. We also have water available for our students. Okay, that is the play area, the art area. We also have their, uh, their lunch cubbies, their lunchbox cubbies. And also we have there the bathroom that the child can use so that we won't need to go outside. That is the reading area and the discovery area. Also, the teacher's table is, uh, is located in front of the classroom so that she can monitor this, the students every time. Okay, we also have there the circle time mats. Okay, in the circle time mats, the students are able to discuss with each other. That is where the discussion happens. All right, that is all for today. I hope you learned a lot in our classroom and the different areas and their functions. Even though we cannot go to the classroom, uh, at least we know what our classroom looks like. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time.